What's going on guys? My name is David and today I'm going to be reviewing the Cliff Keen Bubble Knee Pads and comparing them to some of the other options you guys may have seen when you were browsing for knee pads and also be talking a little bit about my experience with knee pain and why you guys should definitely be wearing knee pads if you want long-term health of your knees. I started doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu about a year and a half ago and also at the same time I was getting into some wrestling. I was a beginner at the time and I started going to the practices at the club, club wrestling team at my college. And there was one particular time where I was learning how to do takedowns and I didn't know any better at the time, but what I was doing was slamming my knee into the floor repeatedly for the whole practice, trying to do a single leg or a blast double. And this caused a lot of knee pain for me. I remember a few hours later, it was like even just to the touch, a lot of intense pain and this went on for several weeks where I couldn't do any wrestling at all I couldn't be in my knees and months afterwards also I felt the effects of this because there was pain squatting down I couldn't do my normal leg workouts so at that point I decided to see a doctor and I went to the doctor they did an x-ray the x-ray came back fine but they said I have something called chondromalacia now chondromalacia is a soft tissue problem. It's when there has been repeated impact to the cartilage and this causes inflammation. So you can see here, this area behind the kneecap, there's inflammation there. And it can get to the point where after repeated impacts over here, the cartilage can actually start to strip away in these fibers and it can start to float around in the knee joint um, up until the point where there's a bone to bone contact. So your actual bones are rubbing against each other, but that's down the line where you're really deep into it. And chondromalacia isn't just something that happens when you're actively putting impact on your knee. It also is very frequent in people that are just on their knees and people that are just applying some of their body weight onto their knee joints. People like carpet layers, tile layers, different types of construction workers. So by extension, if you're doing jujitsu, and you're rolling several times a week. Jiu-Jitsu is more intense than just being on your knees because you're putting maybe your whole weight onto one knee and then you're shifting your weight onto the other knee. And sometimes there's contact. I think it's definitely smart to have some knee protection when you're doing this because I did have a lot of flare-ups even after this wrestling incident when I was doing Jiu-Jitsu. I had a similar type of inflammation and a similar type of knee pain. So when I decided I was going to get knee pads, I had a couple things in mind. So first I wanted knee pads that were sleek because I knew that there's knee pads that are really bulky and that offer a lot of protection like knee pads that construction workers would use. But I wanted something that was also sleek and that I could move around in. And that's when I found these Nike Essentials Volleyball Knee Pads. I decided to give them a try. And for my purposes, they weren't too good. The padding was pretty thin, a lot thinner than I expected. If I had to describe it, I would say it was like three or four rags bunched together. Um, I really don't know how volleyball players even use these, if volleyball players use them at all. They probably do because there's 13K ratings over here but they just didn't absorb a lot of the impact. There's no way I could put these on and then just fall down in my knees. I would never try that in these knee pads. I guess one positive about these is that they are, they're, they're made out of a fabric that is slippery and the construction is sleek. So maybe if you're sliding on a volleyball court, they'd be useful. Or if you're doing jujitsu um, on a court like that, might be useful, but not enough protection for me. So once I realized that the Nike volleyball pads weren't going to do anything to protect my knees, I found these Body Prox protective knee pads. Uh, this is, I think, the highest rated knee protection product on Amazon. It has almost 40,000 reviews, a pretty decent number of stars also. If you look at the image over here, it looks like they go up to mid thigh level. Um, I know this is a girl here, but you would expect them to have a lot of area of attachment to the leg. But when they came in, this was definitely not the case. Uh, there was probably half of the fabric above the actual protective pad that appears over here. Um, they would slide off all the time 
and the padding itself was also not ideal. It was better in terms of protection than the Nike volleyball pads, but if I were to do a knee drop test, I still wouldn't be completely comfortable performing that. So the padding was generally thicker, but there wasn't too much rigidity to the protective pad. And that was definitely a negative for me. So when I returned the body prox knee pads, I didn't have a knee pad to go to practice with. And I came in one day without anything and my friend lended me his knee pads. And he lended me these, the Cliff Keen bubble knee pads. And I can say that these knee pads are the best knee pads on the market right now. Uh, if you're doing sports and you need some sort of knee protection, this is definitely the way to go. And the weird thing about them is that they're not even on the front page of Amazon. Like they're really hard to find. When I first started looking for knee pads, I would probably have to go through multiple pages to find them. I have them in the white version. This is sort of like the rarer version of them. Usually they come in black. One thing you have to know is that when you order them, they only come one pair at a time. That comes out to 40 bucks for a pair, but 100% they're worth it. So why are these so good? They're good because of how rigid they are and how much protection they give you. So this isn't just like a padded rag feeling that the body prox gives you. This is more of like a hard foam. It's really rigid. And if you were to do something like a knee drop test, if you got up to your feet and you drop to your knees, these would fully protect your knees and you probably won't feel anything. The only negative thing I really have to say about these is that they do come off your legs sometimes. Sometimes they slip off, but I think that is something that comes with any knee pad. If you're doing some intense activity, it's bound to slide off. Uh, like if you're a wrestling practice, you're gonna be readjusting it the whole time. Maybe there's a knee pad out there that's even better that both offers the protection that these Cliff Key knee pads do and that stays on your knee really well, but I just haven't seen it yet. And based on what I've read on wrestling forums, everyone seems to be recommending these knee pads. So it's unlikely that there is a better knee pad out there. So in summary, I would definitely recommend the Cliff Key knee pads if you're doing wrestling or jujitsu. And if you're doing jujitsu and you're wearing a gi, these can just slide right under the gi pants. It hasn't been much of a problem for me. Sometimes they do slide off and you have to readjust them through the pants, but I've managed to do that pretty easily. I would say if you do still want something that's sleeker and that fits better underneath your gi pants, you could try out the volleyball Nike knee pads. Um, they give enough protection where if you're just on your knees and you want to soften the constant pressure of your body weight into the floor, they would do the job for that, but definitely overall, these would give you more protection. So yeah, that's it for the video. Please let me know in the comments if you guys found this helpful. And I've linked both the volleyball knee pads and the Cliff Key knee pads in the description box below. Thank you guys, peace.